All right, Conor McGregor will not be fighting Michael Chandler anymore. Chandler has decided to move on from McGregor and go back to his past and rematch Oliveira. Many people forget actually how close Chandler was to being the UFC champion in his premier year three years ago in May 2021. And now the rematch will take place at Madison Square Garden on November 16th. So Chandler explained that he got tired of waiting for this man and said that these newer age of fans or just more recent fans don't really remember who he is and the absolute blood and guts fights that he put on. And he doesn't really want to be sitting out wasting any more time on McGregor. At least for now. He says a win over Charles will make him the number one contender after Islam and Armin's fight is concluded. A win over Charles would line him up for lightweight gold or Holloway's BMF belt as it's not on the line at UFC 308. Or finally the Conor McGregor fight if Conor can actually show up. Uh, just like an hour ago, Conor was asked by the media after a bare knuckle boxing event about Chandler and Oliveira's rematch. And all that he really said was that he was kept out of the loophole from the UFC. It seems like his feelings were kind of hurt. But he really seemed to have no issue with their fight and hope that their and Connor said that he hoped that his fight with Chandler could come to fruition, hopefully some point in December, January, February. But I don't really think that Michael Chandler would want to make a turnaround that quick, especially facing Charles Oliveira. I mean, one of these men are going to get hurt very badly, I bet. Chandler said that he got more promotion waiting for Connor McGregor than he would have if he actually fought like three times. But I'm not so sure about that, actually. All they really had was the ultimate fighter. But how many people really watched every episode? And then I guess you had some Twitter beefs. Chandler missed out on some great UFC cards with insane coverage and eyes watching them. Since he was gone, we got cards headlined by John Jones, Pereira Adesanya 2, UFC 295, which was actually supposed to be a John Jones card, UFC 300, and sort of UFC 303, but that wasn't really his fault. That one was McGregor's. <laughs> and now Chandler's going to be on another John Jones card in Madison Square Garden, so I hope that both of these guys somehow pull up to the fights and nothing bad happens. Had he fought on any one of those cards and got another typical insane Michael Chandler knockout, it would have basically put him in the same position if he beats Oliveira in their upcoming fight. Even if they're not matched up against each other, in any Charles Oliveira or Michael Chandler fight, you're going to see bodies dropped, noses broken, and a real glimpse into someone's soul. So this fight, pure fireworks. My early prediction for this fight will be Charles Oliveira once again. Chandler's in his twilight years and has been absent from fighting for so long at this point. He's been training years for McGregor who has the same reach as Oliveira, but, but Charles is Charles and as soon as Chandler goes stupid trying to make the fans remember who he is, Oliveira will knock him out or choke him out. Chandler is just too wild and too available to be punched or submitted. But man, it sucks so much. We waited so long for Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler to happen and now no one really even knew if it was going to happen in the first place, but now it's just, did Chandler waste all that time? Did Conor waste all this time? What is the UFC trying to keep McGregor on ice? And if McGregor's really insistent returning early 2025, as crazy as that sounds, 2025, I mean, we haven't seen this man fight since 2021, right? Who's going to want to fight McGregor at this point? Every day of their camp would have to be wondering if McGregor's actually going to show up or not. But I mean, it is the red panty night, so you never really know. As of right now, I think the most logical fights for McGregor would be the quadrilogy with Dustin Poirier. I mean, fans, I mean, to fans, that trilogy or rivalry can is kind of not concluded because of the leg break. I still think Dustin would have knocked him out as the rounds went on in that fight, but I digress. Or you have a wild ball option like a Jorge Masvidal who said he wants to make a return to the UFC. So maybe you finally make that game-bred notorious rivalry that's been brewing for years, but make the fight when they're both old. Make it enjoyable for fans, I guess, you know? Thank you, UFC. Thank you, McGregor. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you front-kick that subscribe button ASAP and like it.